Well, caring for our environment is the philosophy and the call to action for the business and all of our employees. Net zero, effectively, there are all sorts of carbon offsetting uh, mechanisms to be able to do that as well. So there's a very clear target now for us to, to accurately measure all the way through this, uh, our supply chain. So we have quite a, a large part of our business that is able to do sort of professional services, uh, both consultancy, uh, on the environmental design side of things, on sustainability, biodiversity. We're able to go out into some of our clients and other businesses to be able to help them achieve some of their goals and sharing some of the economic models that, are, that, that we believe actually show that this is not a, a net cost to the business at all. It's actually not only is it a, a, um, either a neutral cost or a positive cost, but we can do the right thing at the same time. We've been a very early adopter of electric vehicles. We first had a, an EV in the fleet in 2014. I feel that we're thought leaders in that space. With our own fleet of cars, turning them electric and making that accessible, not just for our employees, but our employees' families. We can have an even bigger impact. We have been able to move out our contracts managers from £17,000 uh, Ford Focuses into uh, £43,000, £45,000 uh, Tesla Model 3s at a net cost of, uh, of zero to us. Where we have picked up these awards, either it's the Queen's Award for Enterprise or many of the other awards we've picked up over the years, this has been a real motivator for many, many people in the business and, and also a recognition of just some of the things that we've done and helped people to continue to drive forward for, uh, for the same sustainability targets that we need to achieve. The competition for these things is, is super important. We want to be recognised as being the best. H however that looks, it is something that as a, as a, as a business we all rally around.